Hello Nation, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm here with a young upstart, Dr. Steve Edelman. And today we're gonna to talk about the new Dexcom G6 uh, transmitter, the whole system. So, Steve, what are you doing? Gosh, I'm, uh, I used to poke my finger so many times a day and I can't even find my old calluses or little holes. It's amazing. And now we got the G6 continuous glucose monitor just got approved. And I would say one of the most striking things about it is that no calibration is required. Yeah, it's it's really a new era, it like, really is. Like, I won't have to prick my finger twice a day for my old Dexcom. <laughs> I mean, we are getting spoiled, oh my God. Yeah, so Steve and I just got our hands on these literally two days ago or so, so I wanted to give a little update on yeah. what it is. So the no calibrations is the you know the, the biggest thing, and I just started mine the other day, and after two hour, two hour warm up period, it just starts working which is so nice. You don't have to enter those two, you know, blood sugar sticks or whatever. And I'm used to kind of putting on it at night and then having to wait before I go to bed to put those two things in. And now it just starts working. In the morning it's working. It's, it's really nice. You can actually put it in when you go to bed and it just starts all on its own. Yeah. Because normally you put on your alarm clock, it would wake you up. Of course, you tried not to put a new one on when you went to bed as well. And I was just saying, people say, is it accurate? And the thing is, you know, I probably should, but I haven't been cross-checking it with my finger sticks. So it's kind of this new era, like I'm saying, where we, we're really moving away from finger sticks. Well, put it this way. The FDA would not have approved them unless they showed that it was accurate. It also has the dosing claim. And what does that mean? It means that you can give yourself insulin based off that number. So that, that means that it's very accurate. The other thing is it has this new insertion device. So I'm just gonna take it out, um, which is nice for a couple of reasons. So when you want to put it on, you break off this little safety thing and then you just put it on. I wear mine on my leg or your abdomen or whatever. You just push the button and it automatically inserts the sensor. So, you know, as usual, it's indicated to wear on your abdomen, but I like this because I think it frees up additional space. It's easy to get on the back of your arm now. Other places, it might have been hard to use two hands with. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's yeah. why I kind of like the Omnipod. I can put it in different areas. Different places. And just, you know, when you do push this button, it makes a pretty good thump. And then you know that, you know, it's been auto-inserted. So this is a lot easier than that tray of, you know, all those different things. So. And for all you women that used to whine about how thick the transmitter was, look at it. It's redesigned, it's 30% smaller, super flat. When you wear your tights to the gym, no one will detect. Absolutely. And it still lasts three months, you know, just to keep that in mind. You need a new, new one of those every three months. Um, and you do get, you can, if you want, you can set a feature for predictive uh, severe low. So you can say in the next 30 minutes, if I'm gonna have a severe low, alert me. So kind of specifying, um, you know, when you want to be alerted a little bit more. Yeah, and that severe low is 55. Yeah. And you don't have to have it. You don't have to have it. And you can also do scheduled alarms, which is something you can do with the G5, I think, now also, where you can say at night, I want different alarms than I do, you know, during the day. So these, these features are just, you know, yeah. definitely improving. It's nice. I've always told people, you know, if, if it bugs you like crazy at night, just widen up the upper and lower limits, especially the upper. But now you can schedule that. The other thing is um, it lasts... 10 days, not seven. And the FDA slapped Dexcom on the hand and said, do not let your customers reboot it. And so you won't be able to reboot it like you do the seven day mm -hmm. uh, sensor. And that's basically a safety issue. If it's non-calibrating, they just wanna make sure it's as accurate as possible. Now the other thing is since I put my, my G6 on is I've just been taking Tylenol around the clock just because, <laughs> just because I can take it now. I don't even have headaches or anything. I've just been <laughs> pounding bottles of Tylenol. So, you know, the point being that you can take Tylenol with this now. So I hope you guys knew that before Tylenol would interfere with the sensor and they got rid of that issue. Um, so now you can take Tylenol and not have it affect your blood sugars, which is a big deal because Tylenol is my preferred kind of go-to, or at least it was. I haven't yeah. taken it in I don't know how long. Um, preferred go-to kind of aches and pains medicine, you know, Motrin has issues with affecting kidneys and gastritis and all these kinds of things. Tylenol is a really great drug, not to mention it's in every single cold medicine, yeah. Dayquil, yeah. Nyquil, all these kinds of things. It's hard to avoid. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's officially approved kids as, as young as two years old and, of course, there's no upper age limit, thank God, and uh, it's approved by Medicare. Yeah. So that's, and that's the key for Medicare is that uh, you know, you have the dosing claim, and now you don't even have to use test strips to double check. But I should say one quick thing. It does have the ability to calibrate it if you want to. Yeah. 
So uh, before we get to the very last thing, I'll just say the, the, you know, what you need to know is on any CGM system, if you don't trust the value, if your symptoms don't match the numbers, if you don't have a trend arrow, then you should just double check with a, a glucose meter, make sure your hands are clean. You wanna show them the receiver thing? Yeah, 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 and uh, this is the old receiver. This is the new receiver. It's a touch screen, it's color, and this is what they developed for Medicare users because they're not allowed to use the share feature yet on the phone. But some of you like to carry around the monitor like me, and uh, so it's kind of a nice uh, upgrade there. Now, lastly, why don't you let our viewers know about this whole new category, the interoperability. That's key. The interoperability? I think I just made that up. Yeah, why don't you tell them, Steve? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the I <laughs> category. Yeah, you, you got to watch some other Edelman reports. Basically, they have a whole new category. It's called the ICGM, and um, the FDA gave them the the stamp of approval to interact with other devices and be integrated into the baby steps of the artificial pancreas. So yeah. And the last thing I want to say about the receiver is it obviously it still goes to your phone. You have to download. There's a new G6 app um, that takes two seconds to download. And you can get all the numbers on your phone. And it, it looks very, very similar to the current app. A little bit different colors and things like that, uh, but all the same features. But if people like to carry around the receiver, they can. Yeah, and the yeah. receiver comes with three colored condoms, as I call them, so it doesn't slip around your purse, your pocket. I kind of like it without it, but it's up to you. So yeah, there's tons of information on the Dexcom website, and uh, get your G6. All right, so long, Nathan. So long.